In this video, I am going to find the arc length for a parametric curve given by x is equal to cosine of t times sine of t and y is equal to sine square of t for t between 0 and 2 pi. The arc length for a parametric curve is given by this. L is equal to integral a to b square root of dx over dt whole square plus dy over dt whole square and integrated with respect to t. So all we are going to do is find dx over dt square it, find dy over dt square it and add them up and put it into this integral and then uh, integrate it from 0 to 2 pi. So let's go ahead and find the dx over dt on the side dx over dt is gonna be we can use the product rule uh, cosine of t times the derivative of sine of t which is cosine of t then plus sine of t times the derivative of cosine of t which is negative sine of t and that is gonna give me dx over dt is equal to cosine square of t minus sine square of t. Now let me go ahead and square it. So dx over dt whole square is going to be square of this. So if I use the perfect square formula is going to be cosine to the power 4t minus 2 sine square of t times cosine square of t plus sine to the power 4 of t. Now similarly, I'm going to find the dy over dt, dy over dt, that is going to be, again, I have to use the chain rule here, is going to be 2 sine of t times cosine of t again if, if i square it is going to be dy over dt whole square is going to be equal to 4 times sine square of t times cosine square of t now what i'm going to do i'm going to take this value and take this value and plug it in here so if i do that i get L integral a to b and let's go ahead and uh, put the limits of integration 0 to 2 pi so 0 to 2 pi integral of dx over dt so there's going to be this guy plus this guy now look this is 4 sine square t cosine square t this is 2 sine square t cosine t but negative so if i put it and simplify it what's going to happen i'm going to have cosine to the power 4 t plus 2 sine square of t cosine square of t uh, then plus sine to the power 4 of t it's all under the square root and then dt outside now I could simplify it further integral 0 to 2 pi square root of cosine square of t plus sine square of t whole square right if I simplify this uh, dt and now l is equal to integral 0 to 2 pi and sine square of t plus cosine square of t is 1 so 1 square is 1 square root of 1 is 1 so this becomes dt integral 0 to 2 pi that's going to be nothing but t evaluated from 0 to 2 pi that is going to be 2 pi minus 0 or 2 pi so the arc length l for this curve for this parametric curve between 0 and 2 pi is nothing but 2 pi I hope that this discussion was helpful. Thank you very much.